Rock or Lane. Uh, this week I wanted to show you how to chalk uh, mark models, uh, put chalk numbers on locomotives um, like steam locomotives in the late 60s or early 60s um, when people used to dig number plates off them uh, the, the uh, engine sheds would often chalk the numbers back on and also on wagons um, you'd get uh, destination names uh, chalked onto the side and I've got an example of three here uh, these are all in O gauge, uh, the kits uh, this is I think a Parkside uh, kit um, but if you see on the side there on the door I've chalked Brockwell down um, and as well as that there's also uh, marks where there used to be stickers applied um, and you can also see underneath I've added some of the chalked detail of when it's due for a, a service um, also um, around the builders plate I've used the same method uh, so that's the southern style van um, there's also I've used it a bit more on this one this was a Slater's van wide kit which didn't actually come with any transfers so I ended up having to um, chalk some of the um, the details on like this VMV and I changed the number as well with the in the same style added that C and there's some smudged chalk marks on the side there as well again I've, uh, I've used this white pen to um, to represent the ticket which was put on the under frame you can see better the um, the inspection date also on the frame on this particular wagon um, January 1960 um, so what have we used very simple um, all it is was uh, about a 50p pen off of eBay I ordered this one from China but you can get the same things from uh, uh, you know shops like Hobbycraft, your art and craft shop. What they are, they they fancy uh, gel pens, uh, and I think they're meant for writing on black card. And this one is a white one. You can see it's got quite a a fine nib there, and it won't focus on it. It's 0.8. They're very readily available. These are a cheap, a couple of quid maybe, cheaper than that if you want to wait for one from China. Uh, now, they they do work better when they're warm. Uh, they can be a bit awkward, uh, but I'll try and demonstrate here. See, I've also put some marks on that side. But, um, you have to persist and shake them up and down. It's not going to work on camera, is it? No, I'll warm that up and have another go, I think. There we go, that's better. have to persist with these things sometimes. But that's the effect you get. And you also do local numbers, as I said. Um, now what you need to do then is, um, I usually seal it with a bit of varnish. Right? It's only, it's my usual Halford's matte, matte lacquer. Um, if your stock's um, weathered, then use matte. If it's, if it's sort of pristine satin, it'll be better. And you just need a slight misting over the top of that, that area. I use this stuff on the, the rest of the model anyway. Um, but if you're not happy with what you've got, wet the end of the finger. And it just comes off anyway. And you can you can start again. So have a look at prototype uh, photos. And um, have fun adding your... Uh, station name to the to your wagons. Uh, you can also do silly things like uh, write on the front of engines, like they used to do on specials. Sometimes you remember the uh, some of the last days of steam they used to write things like oh, farewell, last steam drain, and 
things like that. Um, that could be fun, and of course you can leave it and uh, wipe off the finger when you're finished and you want to, your engine back as it was. Another thing worthwhile is pointing out is uh, these fine tip marker pens. I use these a lot as well. And again, the same places you can get them on eBay and hobby craft and places. What I use these for a lot is um, you see the um, um, the ironwork on the doors. Um, I usually uh, colour those in with one of these pens. And this is actually permanent, so it doesn't need varnish on top. Uh, it can look a bit shiny sometimes, but uh, it's a lot easier than uh, trying to do it with a paintbrush. That's another little trick. Another one, another sort of pen I use. I just put the uh, lid on that so it doesn't go off. Are these Sharpies? Now, you can see these two in particular, and there's another one. Uh, metal colours. So you've got copper, brass, and silver. They're really handy for, I've found, doing up my engines. Uh, if I've weathered over the top of. Um, the whistle, for example, just uh, you know, just get that out and uh, just touch the whistle. You can smudge it a bit, make it look a little bit dirty. And again, these will dry pretty good. These are permanent markers, or you can varnish on top of them as well. And that's a hell of a lot easier than uh, trying to do it with paint. Um, I've used that on quite a few of my panniers. Uh, in double O and uh, O. Uh, another thing, this is this is the copper one. This is very good for copper pipes on engines. Um, you know, under the cylinders, there's the pipes which blow steam out. Quite often, um, from the manufacturers, they don't come coloured, and they should be. Again, that just just colour them in. They look great. Really cheap, an effective method, and you don't get paint everywhere. Thanks very much for watching this, uh, this one. Um, I'll see you next time with more tips. Bye-bye.